I'm Cheryl Preheim. I've followed the news these past days with the perspective of somebody who has lived in and visited Haiti. Every time, I've found the people to be gracious, kind, and enduring in a way we could never imagine. My family lived in Haiti when I was a child. My dad taught in Port-au-Prince. We were welcomed as if we had always been there. Nobody ever made us feel any different. Years later, I went back as an adult, helping to build houses with Habitat for Humanity. Three years after the earthquake there, a quarter of a million people still were living on muddy streets or under tarps at best. Children, babies, families who lost what little they had. I met a man named Cherry. We worked side by side every day. He'd lost his leg from an injury in the earthquake. He'd lived under a tent ever since. He joyfully helped build his 500 square foot house on a prosthetic that did not fit. I never once heard him complain about his health or housing. He was purely grateful. I'm living here. A woman would sit in front of her makeshift shelter and talk with me each day. She ended up giving me a gift. These are the people I'm thinking about as the news plays out. In my experience, I saw kindness, gratefulness, and resilience while facing conditions and circumstances we cannot imagine and they cannot control. If you ask me, that is beautiful. I'm sure.